for Battle of the Sexes Online. This is going to have four parts. Athlete number one is going to have three minutes on the clock to complete a triplet for time. Again, that is a triplet for time with a three minute cap. If you finish in under the three minute cap, great. You're going you're gonna to rest, your partner's going to rest until their turn. If you don't finish, the clock saves you. So again, you have three minutes to complete a triplet for time. Athlete number two gets the next three minute window. After that three minute window, it's back to athlete number one. They are going to do the exact same triplet, except now it's going to be done as a two minute AMRAP. So, if you finish this thing in whatever, two minutes and 20 seconds, you're probably not going to finish it in the second window, but you got a lot of incentive to try and match that time. So, again, it's the exact same triplet that you're going to be doing, except as an AMRAP for two minutes. So, this starts with 15 lateral over the dumbbell hops. This was going to be over a hurdle, but not all of you have hurdles, so you got to use dumbbells for the workout, so that's what you're going to use. 15 lateral hops over the dumbbell. It's then going to be 16 alternating dumbbell snatch, 9 pull-ups, back to 15 lateral over the dumbbell hops, 12 alternating dumbbell snatch, 8 pull-ups, 15 lateral hops over the dumbbell, 8 alternating dumbbell snatch, 7 pull-ups. That is the triplet. Again, you're going to do this uh, four time with a three minute cap, and then you're going to rest while your partner does the same thing. Then you're going to do it as an AMRAP for two minutes. You're done, then your partner does it. That is workout number three. Workout number three, uh, movement standards. Lateral hops over the dumbbell. You're going to stand on one side of the dumbbell and you are going to jump over the dumbbell to the other side. That is a lateral hop over the dumbbell right there. We want to see jumps. We don't want to see steps. That is not going to cut it. You got to jump over the dumbbell. You're going to do 15 of those hops. Then you are going to be doing alternating dumbbell snatch. Dumbbell starts on the ground ends locked out overhead. You can switch your hands however you wish. Again, we don't care where you switch. It could be above your head. It could be below your head. Try not to drop the dumbbell on your head, but you can switch arms however you wish, but you do have to switch. We don't care about both heads of the dumbbell touching the ground in between each rep, but one head of the dumbbell must touch the ground in between each rep. Finish each one locked out overhead, not in front of you. So Nick's going to do a couple reps that are bad where he's finishing in front. That's not going to cut it. So get those reps over to the side. Get those reps overhead. That is an overhead finish right there. Those are good reps that Nick is doing. Last, this finishes with pull-ups. The pull-ups can be done as strict pull-ups, as kipping pull-ups, as butterfly pull-ups. As long as you are getting that chin over the bar on every rep and coming back down to extension at the bottom. Those are your movement standards for workout number three.
that walk the line. Y'all gonna be dead and gone. Y'all gonna be dead and gone.
sing that song. Y'all gonna be dead and gone Y'all gonna be dead and gone 